I want to go back now and look at the string builder and in particularly in particular the the quick string builder controls. If we click on the 12 and a quarter inch hole section and pull up the calculation plots for drilling, notice in the upper right hand corner we have two tabs, drill and trip. They both use the same string, so the same string builder would apply. What we're going to focus on is if we click down here on the lower left hand corner of the string schematic, the builder button, what that does is pulls up controls that allow me to change the length and placement of any component that's in the string. So let's say for example what I want to do is extend the length of 5 inch drill pipe and reduce the amount of 5.5 drill pipe. By clicking on this red shaded area, notice how the mouse cursor has changed. And now when I pull that red arrow, that red control upwards, as soon as I let off, all of much will be recalculated based on these new string dimensions. If what I'm trying to do is balance torque, PCD, and hydraulics, notice that I have a problem with my pump pressure before I get to TD because of the long length of 5-inch drill pipe. By clicking on that control and dragging it downward, I can find the optimum depth at which I'm no longer ex exceeding the pump pressure limit, but yet still maintaining torque at an acceptable level. Notice also that the non-rotating drill pipe protectors can be edited. If for some reason I choose to analyze the effects of not having non-rotating drill pipe protectors, first I can zoom out so I can see the very top of the devices, and I can reduce their length to where they're almost insignificant. And notice how the torque profile has changed now, as has the hook load and the ECD. If I expand this section, then the plots will be updated once again. I could even see the effect of having no protectors if they were running the open hole, and I assume that they have no effect in open hole. Actually, I'm not assuming that they have no effect in open hole. If we go back to the casing operation, 9 and 5 eighths casing, and we do a similar exercise, of where we're locked on to the builder mode, we can change the placement of the roller centralizers. And I'm going to click on this number one, the very top of your screen, so that we're just focused on the drag plot. If I change the placement of the roller centralizers, remember these do only work in cased hole. If I put them out in open hole, it completely changes the signature of my drag plot. The drag reduction comes in early but it's of no use to me late in the run. Late in the run, of course, is where I need the devices to be working, so it's most logical that this is where their placement would be for optimum performance. Now, for some reason, I've got too short of a length of 9 and 5 eighths casing, so I'm going to pull up the advanced builder. We're going to change this length so that it goes all the way back to surface. I think that might have happened when I was putting in my 10 and 3 quarter casing as an example. Now with casing back to surface, if I'm in builder mode, I can extend my, my roller centralizers all the way back to surface and get performance out of those devices. This is how we use the quick string builder.